for three long weeks. This man and I have not been able to do this show because it was preempted on ESPN2 by various sports events. So for three weeks, I have stored up opinions for this man. I am about to unleash. He had better be ready. You're not supposed to make me laugh. Am I really supposed to be worried about you? Yes, you are. Here we go. Joining us now, FOP, that's friend of the program, Jerry Ferrara. Mm -hmm. Die Hard All Things Knicks, starring in the All Things New York, excuse yes. me, starring in the Entourage movie. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm sorry, I haven't recovered from the, <laughs> the back yet, just it, watching some of those highlights. It just hurt my soul. Neither has this guy. That's why he, he's just quiet over there. <laughs> but let's talk about your Knicks, because we talked you about... You know what? I can just yeah. leave now, because I don't think I'm going to get a word in edgewise. No, between no, no Go no, ahead and talk, Skip. Yeah. I just don't hear. irritate me. Yeah, I'm about to. <laughs> Listen, Skip already won. We talked about his Spurs. Your Knicks. Let's talk about what they what they did or didn't do, for no, that matter. And I really want to hear what you have to say, because I missed you guys being away Thank so you. long. So much has happened, and now you're back. But uh, look, I, um, I'm being a little foolish, because I'm very, very excited, because I think we could win more than 17 games with this team. I'm actually contemplating, <laughs> Stephen A., you should come. I want to go to some, I want to go to the Knicks-Lakers Summer League game after this, because I think that's the biggest, best matchup we're going to get. When is it? <laughs> 2 p.m. today. 2 p.m. today. We go right from here. Got a we private go right... jet to go to Vegas? Uh, well, maybe one of our friends was watching. Somebody reach out, give us a lift. Yeah, maybe. In and out, see D'Angelo versus Kristaps. I would do that. I'd do that if you had a private jet. He's won me over. He's won me over. He has? He has. At seven feet, three inches tall? Here's my issue with the pick, okay? If he turns out to be an 11 and 5 guy, which would be a very nice NBA career, I still think it's going to be a disappointment. There's so much hype now around him being Dirk, which is almost impossible to live up to that. I think if he has a solid career, it's still never going to be enough. And that's what concerns me the most. I love the Jerry and Grant move. We actually, I, again, I'm getting caught up in the summer league stuff. It looks like my pickup game at times, mm. but he he looks uh, he looks good in the summer league. Go ahead, Skip. Well, it's okay. well Zingus looks good in summer league. Uh, yeah, he looks so fantastic. You're, you're going to hang your hat and Phil Jackson's hat on Porzingis in the summer league, where, to my eye, as I watch him in summer league, yes. he can't get any inside position on anybody because he weighs like 165 pounds. He did get back down quite a few times. Uh, he's going to have to put some weight on, but uh, I think that... Protein shakes. <laughs> more than that. We're going to have to send him more than that. Uh, I'm not hanging my hat on it. I'm hanging my hat on the fact that the Knicks in the East actually have a young team now that is worth watching on an excitement level. Whereas last year, we were sold the goods of Calderon and Jason Smith and expecting to make the playoffs with that team. That was never going to happen. We at least have a young team and are hopeful. And we don't have a draft pick next year, so this has to work. Hmm. It has to. Do you see a highly skilled big man, Mr. Smith and Porzingis, Kristaps? He's great on Instagram. Hmm. <laughs> is he? He's pretty good. I got to check that out. <laughs> He skips messing with me. Mm -hmm. Let me be fair. Let me be very clear. Because um, when I went on Sports Center, that was after the, immediately after the draft. I remember. Um, Came out of vacation. Usually, because ESPN, you know, they paid me, and if they call me, I'm going to come, whether I'm on vacation or not. This was different. Because I called ESPN <laughs> and told them, make room for me on tonight's Sports Center. I'm coming on. It was immediately after the pick. And here's what really rakes my nerves. And it rakes my nerves to a point where it's hard for me to contain myself, but I'm going to try because I've exploded enough. It's not about Porzingis and his talent. He's seven one. They say he was seven one, maybe seven one, seven three, whatever the case would be. Only two twenty. That's enlisted at two twenty or whatever. He's got some skills. He's a Europe. He looks athletic and mobile. Didn't look bad in summer league. Didn't look that great to me. But here's the point. It totally deviates from what Bill, Phil Jackson sold us on. Phil Jackson said. It's not a project. It's not about building for the long term. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, and I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. But I could do the job that Phil Jackson did last year. You tank the season. You're so god awful that you end up with a top four pick, and you pick presumably the best talent available at the number four slot. 
But you traded Tyson Chandler, who was approaching the last year of his contract, okay? You didn't have to let him go, all right? Ultimately, you traded J.R. Smith and Amon Shumpert before the trading deadline. And you kept them within the daggone conference, by the way, for two draft picks and two trade exceptions, all right? Not only did you do that, you tried to sell us on Jose Calderon, okay? We oh still haven't bought it. There's still an APB out for his game. All we say about this is what we say about Jose Calderon. He's such a nice guy. I mean, what? <laughs> that's what? That's the best you've got? The and then on top of it, and then on top of it all, you turn around and you sign Carmelo to $124 million. It's a rebuilding process. Now, had you told us that, do you know what we would have said to Phil? Go ahead and let Carmelo go. Rebuild or assign it. and trade him. Do so. We would have, we would, don't bother. Because we don't need to watch Carmelo Anthony, one of the top five offensive players of this generation. We don't need to watch Carmelo mm -hmm. Anthony lose night in and night out. Let him go somewhere else, get something quality for him in return, and build, and it would have been a reclamation project that we all would have accepted because you know what? All right, you sold us on that. You told us. The problem is, Phil didn't tell us that. He said it's the Eastern Conference. We should be able to compete for playoffs. I just need to make these moves, and clearly he lied. He hoodwinked us all. The man went on three road trips last year, ladies and gentlemen. Two of them were to L.A. Clippers, Lakers. I'm sorry, doesn't he live out here? I do believe he lives out here. That doesn't count as a road trip. That counts as you going home. Sorry, Other than that, you went to London. The man that, listen, when you got executives, skip, watch these executives in this league. They're all over the place. They're at summer league, they're at the games, they're traveling on the road. Not Phil Jackson. And if you're going to develop, I like Derek Fisher. You know how I feel about Derek Fisher. But if you're going to develop talent, don't you need to have somebody who's experienced as a coach in developing talent mm -hmm. as opposed to somebody who's never coached on any level in his life? Everything Phil Jackson has done, he has lied to us, no, and no, that's the he, issue. He didn't intentionally hoodwink you. He thought, I am Phil Jackson. I will set up shop in New York City. I will open my arms, and they will come. All the big free agents let will me, come to let, New York let, 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 because they'll want to okay, serve right, me. Uh, so, he didn't, me. So, he didn't, so he didn't lie to us. No. He lied to himself he because he's so himself. arrogant, so he deluded himself. Yeah. Either way, he lied, damn it. Just get okay. technical, Mr. Mr. Manson. Right. You lied to yourself, you lied to us. It's all the same to me because you didn't tell the truth. And in the end, here's what it comes down to. And I'm getting sick and tired of people who cover sports not picking up on this, especially when it comes to the NBA. When you are an executive and you don't recruit in free agency, you are not doing your job. Sure. Yeah, you can you can go and draft. We we got we got scouts and player personnel directors for that. The executive is supposed to be the dude that sits there and says, "This is what I'm building." Come here and Phil Jackson mm. clearly is Robin Lopez. Robin Lopez? He's not bad. I, I like Aaron Aflalo. Listen, I, he's yeah, not Robin bad. Lopez is a role player. Aaron, Aaron Aflalo can yeah. play. But listen, Aaron Aflalo, Robin Lopez, and Jerry and Derek Grant. Williams. Listen, Jerry and Grant. Stop it. Jerry and Grant. <laughs> Jerry and Grant. Listen, Jerry he's and Grant. Bad. Jerry he's and terrible. Grant, out of Notre Dame, <laughs> out of Notre Dame, out of Notre Dame, oh. is a really quality point guard. You don't need a point guard in a triangle. No. Oh, just, this, everywhere you turn, it's just awful. It's just awful. There's a bigger problem that's <laughs> happening, too, is because clearly free agents want to go to winning teams, as Monroe proved. So if it's another 18 Milwaukee. win season. Now, Milwaukee's Thank Milwaukee's you, Molly. Because we New lost York out City. on Greg Monroe when to Mo Milwaukee. Who, by the way, Jason Kidd is doing a hell of a job. Oh, he really yeah, is. He is doing a special job. Mm -hmm. He really, really is. And they had him. Remember, he left the Knicks to go and be the coach of Brooklyn. I mean, it's right in your backyard. Everything that's associated with the Knicks, year. they lose. Okay. Everything. I, I am sick of talking about the New York Knicks Thank because you. they bore me now. Yes. So let's talk they about a team that does me. not bore me. Your Giants. Oh. Because I think they will be a threat to my Dallas Cowboys in the NFC East this year. Though they might be missing their best pass rusher because of fireworks. Yeah. Your thoughts? Well, when I, when I first heard that, I thought I was hoping that it was just something that was maybe going to be overreported and was a minor thing and there wasn't much going on in the news cycle. And then you start hearing, like, we don't think it's career threatening. So my radar went up immediately. And then there literally comes into play, like, his career. It's not even so much like as a giant fan, yes, I want him on the field, but then also on a human level, like, you don't want to see, and I say kid with all due respect because he's younger than me, yep. lose a career because of. Uh, an accident like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do wish that 
you know, some of these guys would just realize you just can't do the things that you used to enjoy doing as a kid. It's just a level of you got to put it down and let someone else do okay. it. All right. Can we start with the niceties? He was stupid. I mean, yeah. it's just what, that's just what it comes down to. <laughs> You got $14.8 million on the table to sign. Let's light them light him off. And, and, you're gonna play, and you're going to play around with fireworks? Really? You don't know better than that? I, I have no patience. Look, 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 I am allergic to idiocy. There's a lot of things that we can tolerate. Idiocy shouldn't be one of them. I, I'm just, there's certain dudes that deserve to miss a season just because they do something mm -hmm. stupid. Just because they do something stupid. Right, but not a career. And that's why I started to feel uh, nervous. Because when they start saying career It won't end his no, career. No, but I'm saying that was the he first... He might not be able to grab as well, but it's just fractured and... And, and it, well, it's not going to end his career. He's going to play, but... Like, we'll, he ain't we'll throwing actually, a football. He'll be all right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I have never understood how in this great country of ours... We celebrate our independence every 4th of July by lighting small bombs in our hands. Devices, I, I don't yeah. really get it, but he did it. That should be in the contract. I always tell you, you shouldn't be in clubs after midnight. That should be in the contract. Skydiving, bungee jumping, motorcycle riding, firecracker popping on the 4th of July. It is idiocy of the highest order. And he comes off to me every time I see him interviewed or I watch him on the sidelines. He's like an overgrown kid, and I don't think he's grown up. Maybe he'll grow up now. Well, listen, here's the embarrassing part. The New York Giants fly from New York to go see you. And they can't get in to see you because your family or whomever it was was shielding the Giants from getting in to see you. And you thought hiding for them would elevate your stock? I mean, really? I mean, really? They, 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 you don't think that they would have something inside of them that says, maybe this is worse than what it appears? Because we want to see you and we can't even see you? Mm -hmm. Really? You know, you, you're taking millions from them. And by the way, JPP hasn't been the same in years. He hasn't been what After he used that to be. Back yeah. injury, you know what I'm saying? He, back the same. Oh, he, he did so, have a decent amount no, no, of no, stuff. He's yeah. big time. He's yeah. a big time talent. When healthy. And they need him. And they need him. And bottom line, but, I do think they're going to be really good next year. I think the Marine pickup is going to be great for them because when Eli had like Ahmad Bradshaw to throw mm -hmm. to, it changes his whole game. It does limit the interceptions a little bit. And uh, I think Vereen is the best in the business at that. That offensive show. line is still suspect, y'all. It is. And I think having a good pass catching running back will help alleviate some of that pressure as well. And uh, if Victor Cruz is healthy, their offense is going to be legit. Uh, I think also the defense does have some yeah, problems. And if you lose JPP, yeah, it's not the same. I you feel better about my Cowboys now. I see. That's where I, li I, like, to, I like to set you up yeah. that way. By default. I like to set you up that way. You should feel very good about your Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Jerry, thanks so much for stopping by. Again, always a pleasure. I love when you guys are out here. Welcome back. And uh, one last thing. We had a long talk a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Bubba Watson, will he win another major or not after his first Masters? I said yes. You said no. I had and the research team check. He's got one since. I'm he not does. often right. Is he going to win another one? Yeah, why not? Next weekend? <laughs> yes, why I, not? I think Jordan Spieth actually has a shot to win three in a row. Mm. Well done. After all, wow, that's really stepping out when well, he just shot under 20. Well, it is when he just went and won the John Deere Classic, that, and now he's got to fly to St. I'm Andrews. I'm just saying, you acting like that's a big deal. You're there. really stepping out on a limb there, the way he looked. Guys, speaking, speaking of three championships, Dwayne Wade has that, and he decided to keep his talents in South Beach, but have the Heat stunner. done enough to wow. compete with the Cavs in the East, that weak Eastern Conference? That debate is coming up next.